Okay. So well, this is my first video in a really long time because well be blunt, I've been very busy with school and all that and I just haven't really had the time to set up all my recording stuff and all that wonderful stuff. But whatever. One point Iron Banner on my level twenty five Titan. So it's gonna be fun. I have a Suros that I got my Morlock I'm going to be using, so yeah. it's either going to go really well, or I'm going to get completely stopped. Um, I've got a couple things I want to talk about today. Um, not really going to talk about too much why I haven't been recording, because that can just be summed up by, well, I've just been lazy, and I've been busy with other stuff, so I just really don't feel like doing videos all the time. But I think as winter gets more and more into it, whatever, as winter gets, you know, more developed, I guess, I don't know, I'll do more and more videos and stuff, probably, still playing on an Xbox 360, still playing Destiny, don't really feel like getting a 1, I'd rather get a desktop over a 1, but whatever, um, oh, those people have, a, those weird ships on the left are Iron Banner ships, you can get, if you're really good at this, and I'm not really good at this. Yesterday I did pretty good. I got yeah, fairly good, I guess. I won like four out of the six games that I played. I guess that was alright. Um, but what I really want to talk about today is should you get this game for Christmas or you know, just get this game, period? This game is a bit of a weird one, because, in my mind, it's not really finished. Like, it should not have been released right now, but, zone in my C mind, I also think that that wasn't Enemy necessarily Bungie's you know, choice, 100%, as they are now working with Activision. And, well, Activision does love them some monies, and, you know, all that wonderful fun stuff, but, you know, you whatever, can't do anything B. about it, American capitalism. <laughs> best capitalism. Um, but should you get this game in the state that it's in right now? Well, a DLC is going to be coming out for it relatively soon, like pretty much as soon as December starts up there'll be a DLC out for it. And from, judging from what I've seen so far, I think it might be worth it getting the game with the DLC because they did release a the, the, so far what this game is right now is it's just a collection of patches with the base game and these patches kind of either make the game better or, you know, balance stuff and all that, but in all honesty, this game isn't necessarily 100% done in my mind. I think there's a lot more that they can do with it. Ow. And they just flat out haven't done it, to be blunt. There's just so many new things, like if you've seen some of the concept art, there's like pictures of like fallen cities, or what I can assume are fallen cities, like skyscrapers hung up on chains in like a giant cave. That looks cool, but that's no in the game. There's like an entire fleet of like Vex looking ships that's apparently somewhere, but you can't play it yet. There's just a lot of stuff that like can be in the game, like should be in the game, but they just haven't released it yet, or they'll release it with DLC and. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because what it seems right now, it seems like they're going to try to do DLC like every month or two for 15 bucks a pop, which sucks. I guess is alright, because, you know, World of Warcraft is a $15 a month subscription, and, well, with WoW you actually get a lot more out of it, so I guess World of Warcraft can get away with it, but so far what Destiny is doing is pretty much at, except in the form of DLC rather than a subscription for a month. But, I don't know. It's just a weird condition. Like, there are some days where like I'll play this game and be like, man, this is really fun, I love this game so much. And there are other days where I just feel like throwing it out a window and burning it. It's just incredibly so frustrating sometimes. Especially the PvP. The PvP can be very wishy-washy with how how well it performs, <clears throat> and all that. Like, there will be days where you'll just kill everybody, it'll be great, you feel like you can take on the whole world, and there are other days where you just lose match after, match after match after match after match, and you just 
Can't seem to win. Nothing's really fun. Seems like your weapons are just vastly inferior compared to everyone game. else's. You're just getting you know, smashed. Like for a better word, ow. We back. But <laughs> that's not my business, really. I'm not. I'm not a game dev. I don't really know what all they're doing behind the scenes. What all they're wanting to do. I don't know what the big plans are, but at the moment, ow. I do not see this game lasting the 10 years that they say it's going to last. To be perfectly honest, I am kind of bored with this game. There are some days where I get really bored with this game, just ow, Jesus. And I just don't feel like playing it because, you know, there's just not, there's, truth be told, there's just not much to do. Like, once you beat the really, really awful campaign, which... I don't even have time to explain why I don't have time to explain why it's not the greatest. Ha ha ha. Yes, that is a line in the campaign. As super lazy writing. In my mind, but whatever. That's a rant for another day. Ow, Jesus. I'm getting destroyed. But, yeah. Uh, it's just so much that this, there's so much potential that this game has but they're just limiting themselves for whatever reason but like I said I don't really know all that much about it I know that I that this game is very fun with PvE I find is incredibly fun but granted it is you know as everyone in the mama said incredibly repetitive ouch like you can only kill the same enemies and variations of those enemies for so long before you're just like, yeah, you know what, I'm just kind of done. What this game has redeemed itself in pretty well is the uh, raid. I've only done the raid twice, as I just don't have that many. I just don't know that many people who are that great at it and just haven't really bothered getting raid groups together. But I have done it twice, and it is really fun. Like, that's what most of this game should have been. Most of this games, like dungeons and all that, should have been kind of like the raid is, like puzzles and big ol' boss fights. Granted, the raid boss fights are different than the other boss fights, but they're still pretty much the same giant bullet sponges which have one-shot kills. Yeah. But, yeah. I, I don't know. You can play this game if you you can play the game if you want, see what you think of it. I know my I friends are pretty one. divided up by it. Like, I have a friend who completely hates this game, like every inch of his body hates it. And he's given it chances before, like he's given Heavy it lots of chances, but he just always gets incredibly frustrated by the PvP and all that. And I can't blame him, the game's PvP is very frustrating if you don't know if like your team doesn't know what they're doing or you know, you're just not having a good game day, I guess you'd say, I don't know. But, yeah, whatever. Um, like I said, I don't really have much to talk about, I'm just playing games. I'm gonna be playing this. Hopefully not get completely wrecked like that. Ow. Where there? For the first like week that this game was out, I had I, I did amazing on this game's PvP. Like there was one day where I won like fifteen matches in a row. And since then I just have not been able to do that. No idea why. Five minutes Weird. Remaining. There are people right around this corner over there. Oh god. Yeah. Damn it. Oh well. I have noticed one thing, you cannot at any cost rage at this game, otherwise you will just catch yourself in an infinite loop of just pure fury. Like I said, a friend of mine gets really frustrated at this game sometimes and he just kinda ruins it for himself. All he does is get mad at it. And I can't really blame him for that. There are there is so much stuff in this game that just either should not be there because it's just a weird feature or they just didn't do it the way I think they probably should have done it. Bad. But, you know, general consensus from a pretty fair amount of people who play this game, people that I know, people that have, just people that have seen on the forums for this game and all that, 
the consensus is, is that it's a good game, like it's a pretty good game, it's just got a lot of flaws that should desperately be fixed. Because they're just... It's either like, don't make the game enjoyable, or they just hurt the game as a whole. Ow, wow. Just got smashed. But, since it's like about, since it's about Christmas time, you're... You're wanting just something to, you know, do for a little while. Something to invest some of your time in. You're fine with spending, you know, 15 bucks for a DLC every couple months. And by the way, some of the stuff that they're adding in the DLC kind of makes me a little bit upset because it should be, it's, it's mostly stuff that should have been in the game already. And I have a feeling they're just going to do more of that stuff that should be in the base game but isn't, for whatever reason. <laughs> More hey, like finally that, won a match. And we might just win this. But yeah. Heavy ammo I, uh, this game's a bit wishy-washy. In my opinion, if you have the money, you don't really have anything else to buy, you don't really want to buy anything else, I'd say go ahead and get this game. It is enjoyable for the short while that you'll play it, but I'm, but you cannot guarantee that you're going to have just constant non-stop fun, because... Yeah, be truth be told, this game is not constant non-stop fun. There is, if you want to just pull through the hours of grinding and the, you know, hours of waiting for a group to, you know, I don't know, trying to find a group for the raid, a competent group that knows what they're doing and not a bunch of people who are just running around, not with heads cut off. But, hey, you know, I don't really know. Uh, that's probably not the answer that anyone watching this video wants. Just to, eh, I don't know, really. Buy it if you want, I guess. But I guess that's kind of what I'm saying. Just buy it if you want. Take take my word for it. Take you know other reviewers' words for it. I guess I'm not a reviewer, but you know, take other people's words for it. But you know, if you're looking for a, but if you are looking for a, you know, really compelling story, um, you know. Lots of replay, that isn't just repetitiveness. I'd say don't get this game. Truth be told, this game's this game's storyline pretty surprisingly sucky compared to, you know, like Halo. And the camp the cut while wow, I am talking really well today. And the multiplayer is just really wishy washy as well. It's like some days it's like you feel like it's super balanced and everyone's having fun, and then other days it just feels like, yeah, this is awful. Why am I playing this? But hey, you know, it's your choice, your money, not my money. I am my. I'm, I, I, need a, I need an outro. I need an intro and an outro. Oh, I'll figure that out later. Well, I am Chicken. This is Iron Banner, Destiny. Me talking about it. I have no idea how many people are actually going to hear this or see this. If you are watching this, I thank you for suffering through this with me, because truth be told, I still do not know what I'm doing at all. I've got a vague idea of what I'm supposed to be doing, but yeah. Anyway, I'll see you all later.